Hello and welcome. This is Lady Hathaway here from Tutorials to Go in Second Life. I'm going to go through today and show you how to create an alpha texture and I'm using here Photoshop CS3. This same method will apply for any version of Photoshop that you're using. So first of all you need to go through and open up the particular Im image. Okay, so here's my image. I can use a few different tools. I can come through here and use the magic wand or I can use the eraser tool. Um, the thing to note though, it doesn't matter what I start to use, because our background is locked, and you can see the lock on here, we need to double click that and unlock it, so it now converts it into a layer. Then you can choose the particular tool that you want to use to start cleaning up your canvas. And you can see here I've gone through and I'm using the magic eraser tool, and it's going to come through and take out all this white area. I can see that there's sort of some white in there, but it's a little bit tricky to see because of my transparent background. So a little tip is to create a new layer by clicking on this Create New Layers icon. Drag this layer up and then come back in here to the bottom layer bucket tool, which is the G off our keyboard. And you'll notice now that it's going to fill that canvas with red. And once I've filled the canvas with red, you can see all the little extra bits of white that I want to delete. So I'll just pop back over to the eraser. And another good thing to do is just zoom your canvas up. And then we're going to click on these areas and start to clean them up. If you make a little error, just hit the Control Z, which is undo. And come through and just use a little tiny eraser here. It's just a small brush. So you can see my canvas is looking pretty good there. I'm going to delete this layer because I don't want that layer anymore. Next thing is to go through and make sure that you've got the correct size that you want to upload your image into Second Life. And when you're happy with that, the last thing that you want to do is go through and save it. I always save my files as a PNG because uh, not only does it allow me to have the transparency in the background, but it creates a smaller file size. And so what we're going to do is click on File, come on down to Save for Web and Devices. It will then open up this window here. You'll notice that the preset is PNG 24. If you don't have that, just click on the drop down and choose it. And make sure that transparency is clicked and then you click on save. It asks you to name your particular file and we're going to call this um, Bells. And you can see here it's defaulted for PNG and you simply click Save. And that's how easy it is to create an image with transparency background and save it so that you can upload it into Second Life. If you enjoyed this video, please pop on over to our website www.sltexturetutorials.com.